Hey guys, Danny Johnson here. Just wanted to share my fun morning today. Uh, we went out to a car show that was being put on a little bit out of town, up in the mountains. It was a little bit cooler up there, and we had a great time, and very nice people up there. It was America. I really loved it. We had Justin SVT with his Mach 1, and then we stopped and picked up our friend Ed. You may have seen his car on the channel before. A very, very nice 2014 GT500 convertible. And uh, the morning was beautiful and a little bit cool. It's going to be triple digits later today. And uh, really loving those ambers and everything. So uh, here's a few clips of us uh, making our way to the car show. This is passing the high school I went to when I was younger. And I was just thinking back on my V6 Mustang and where I am now with the Terminator. And how much I love the Terminators and the Cobras back then. So I was really happy about that. car show would be fun enough but I really love the drive to it and we were passing through Snow Canyon uh, State Park here and it is so beautiful in all the mountains and the different colors and variety and uh, very beautiful here in southern Utah. music video from Katy Perry called Rise. It was actually filmed in this area as well as the nearby lake, so very cool scenery and uh, that's a fun fact. And it's really interesting to see volcanoes around here and so there are a bunch of them and you see the black lava rock that adds a different color to the variety and it's really neat. Something that's a little different, if you've ever done a car show on grass, you'll notice it puts more load on the engine and the cars sound a little different. It's actually kind of how a boat sounds on water because of the load. Look at that, you trimmed the grass already. Oh, <laughs> it's the only time it's been to town. Oh, cool. So if you notice, yeah, this is an LS7, like a Z06 would have. Yeah. But it's a grand school. It's the, well, like this, it's the 50th thing. One of my favorite cars to see there was this GTO. I always look to the back to see if it has the twin exhaust for the 6.0 liter one. And something that the owner pointed out, which is really cool, is the radio knob is on the uh, far side, on the right-hand side, and so is the e-brake. 
Uh, you may know this is similar to the Holden cars in Australia, which are right-hand drive. So when they converted it to the left-hand drive for the U.S., they didn't change the handbrake location or the radio knob. So that's kind of those cool little features and little tidbits that you learn from uh, people because they all know their cars very well, and I love talking with people. With the Roush, this was a Stage 3, so it was supercharged. I remember going to the dealership with Justin SVT, and we would sit in these and look at the Stage 1, 2, and 3s and the differences between them. And as younger kids, we were blown away to see that it was supercharged when the salesman was showing that. So it was really cool to see under the hood here, see the 3-valve 4.6-liter uh, V8 with the supercharger and a really nice guy. And there was another three valve there too. So I was telling them about the very few three valve videos that I have, but I do have a few with motor mounts and headers and the fuel pump disconnect tool that my friend makes. So I made some friends and sent them some videos in case they ever need to change their fuel pump or anything along those lines. Here's Ed's uh, 5.8 GT500. So that's a 2.3 liter supercharger from the factory and 662 horsepower, the first and probably last uh, generation of the 200 mile an hour GT500s. Of course, had to throw my uh, Terminator in here as well. Um, but uh, we had a great time and the people were so nice and look at this food that they made for everybody. They were cooking away sausage, eggs, pancakes, just the most friendly people and that was the best part of the day. Very nice Camaro here as well. This is a 396 SS. Not sure if it was real numbers matching, anything like that, but uh, I'll give you a look at uh, some of the other cars here. It was fun to see these matching Chevelles, and you would think this would be Justin and me being twins, having twin cars there, but uh, these people were really cool. These uh, both had a 454 in them, and uh, so really cool to see both of these. On the way out, we actually passed the restaurant where I first took my wife on a date. So that was kind of fun to see that too. Driving home, it was really fun again seeing these volcanoes. Way back in the day, people pulled the prank by burning tires at the top. So somebody thought that it was an active volcano. Uh, that was kind of an interesting fact for the city history. But look at the beautiful mountains here and all the different colors that you see. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you're enjoying your weekend as well. As always, thanks for watching, and if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys.